chair choreo sequence for you to play around with. Doesn't require any big chair tricks. If you wanna add any additional tricks in, absolutely feel free to do so. Doesn't require flexibility. That being said, yes, there are places where I go into splits, but you don't have to have a split to do those. And we'll talk about shape modifications as we go through this. For this part, as we go through this, it's gonna be about minute to minute and a half of choreo, depending on your music, okay? Music that I put it to in the very first part that you see, not necessarily my first choice in music, but you know, copyright issues. I have to make sure I use stuff I'm allowed to. So you pick whatever music you want to put this to. Okay. So I'm doing it relatively slow. If you want to put on something sassy, you know, a little Britney Spears, little, uh, you know, pussycat dolls, whatever. If you want to make it slow and sexy and sensual, whatever. So whatever mood you're feeling, basically take these moves and you can make them fast, slow, add in additional tricks, whatever you want. Okay. So we're going to start behind the chair. Um, and from this, like depending on if you're waiting for the beat to drop, if you're just kind of mentally preparing for it, you're going to have some little figure eight movements with your legs. So basically what I'm doing is turn my hip, draw a little U, turn my hip, draw a little U or a C, depending on which direction. Okay. So the hip rotation is important. If I just do this with my legs, not nearly as exciting as if instead I turn my hips, drag the toes, and open the hips. Turn the hips, drag the toes, and open the hips. Also on that note, this entire chair sequence, you can do it in heels, you can do it barefoot, whichever you prefer. Um, if you are on the shorter side, some of this stuff might actually feel better if you are in heels because it'll bring you up a little bit higher on the chair, okay? Um, as far as what you're wearing, as you can see, I am fully clothed, partially because it's cold right now, but also on that, there are sections where you will slide better on the chair if you're wearing clothes, but that being said, I would recommend wearing at least leggings when you're learning the sequence and smoothing it out, and then once you get comfortable with it, for example, if you want to perform it for someone, special or not so special, um, is then you can wear whatever you want, but you find quite often some of the spots your skin will just stick and not the way you want it to, so sometimes practicing it in leggings initially will help you kind of figure out where everything's going, get it smooth, and then it doesn't feel quite so sticky, literally or figuratively, when you have skin showing more, okay? So we're right here. We're making these little figure eights, little C shape, U shapes, whatever they are. You're gonna step each foot out roughly the width of the chair legs. How wide your legs go is gonna depend on how tall you are, okay? I'm 5'8". If you are taller than me, you might need to take your legs out wider. If you're shorter, your legs might need to be a little bit closer in, okay? So just adjust accordingly. Basically, we're trying to take our legs out so that our hips end up only a few inches above the back of the chair because this next part, we're gonna come in and go into a hip balance. Little misleading because it says hip balance, but technically you actually wanna be below your hips. So my hip bones are up here. I wanna be more in the hinge of my hips. So if I bend, that's the spot where I want the chair to hit, okay? So we're gonna step it out, one, two. Really hinge forward, so I'm not really leaning into the chair, I'm more just bending at the waist, really sticking my butt out. So I'm yes, I'm leaning on the chair, but I'm not falling into the chair. I'm gonna slide my hands down all the way to the front corners of the chair. Don't put them on the front, you want them on each of the corners. I'm gonna use this grip here to slowly pull my hips into the chair so I find that pivot point. And then from here, as you slowly transfer the weight to resting on the back of the chair, drop your chest down, try to look up and make eye contact with your audience. You'll feel your legs start to come up off the ground. You can pause here, nice little Sunday bum day shape, okay? My ankles are crossed initially, then I'm gonna keep my ankles together, open my knees to a diamond, then open to my straddle, my split, whatever shape that is, okay? And it's gonna vary person to person, totally fine. Bend the knees, bring the ankles or the toes back, bring the knees together, and slowly bring the legs back to the ground, working your feet in. You can take as many steps here as you want to, okay? That being said, on this transition and on everything. As you work through these, sometimes they feel clunky in the beginning. I find to make pretty much anything sexier, smoother, go slow, okay? Quite often we try and like force things and then it gets very choppy. Go slower than you think you need to go, okay? And you'll find that tends to like, even if you didn't think you were feeling super sexy sensual, you look back at it later and you're like, wow, I felt like I was barely moving and yet that actually looks like it was, you know, 
more of a tease. So just a little tidbit. So from here, I want to start to transfer my weight back. I want to lean back so I can start to slide my hands up the chair. Okay. So I can get back upright to standing upright. I'm going to the left of the chair, which means my right leg is going to need to step to the side of the chair. Okay. So I'm basically stepping just outside the chair, close to the back leg. Okay. I've got one hand on the chair for some support, especially if you're wearing heels, you're probably going to want that support. My, which is now my outside leg, the leg farthest away is going to slide toe on the ground, turning my hips towards the chair. And I'm going to drop my knee down close to the chair. Okay. So you see how I've totally turned my hips into face. This hand is going to reach towards the back of the chair, whether it's on the chair, on the outside, whichever, but you are going to be transferring your weight to this. So I'm going to put one hand on the chair here. I'm going to pivot on this knee, letting this other foot slide. This hand is going to reach back anywhere on the chair, wherever it feels comfortable. And I want to use my arms to push my hips up. Okay. My goal is to make this little diamond D shape. Okay. But if my weight is completely on my feet, A, it doesn't feel very good, B, you're going to get stuck. So really make sure your arms are pushing you up. Think of engaging your glutes to push your hips up and away to clear this corner of the chair. Okay. So I'm going to go through this diamond shape, look to your right shoulder, drop to your right knee, left hand and left knee come clear, pivot, 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 place that left foot close to the chair. I'm going to turn, continue to turn. I'm just going clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. Hand can shift. I just move my hand over, but that's optional. Now from here, I'm going to push up on the top of the foot here. Think of bringing your knees to touch. As soon as your knees touch, don't slide your foot anymore. Pivot, pivot, pivot until you bring your butt to the chair. Once your butt touches, hands release. Look over your right shoulder. Continue to pivot, and I'm using this hand to kind of pull my butt back into the chair, you know, so I don't fall out of it. Once you're into the chair, this hand can stay on the chair for support, stability. Hand is going to go down my legs. Now, this part is definitely going to vary depending on flexibility. Make it you, okay? So, sliding this hand down, something to note here. You may have noticed my fingers are like big old spirit fingers on everything. This confident, this not so much, okay? So anytime you're moving your hands, try to have the fingers more open, okay? You don't wanna be like me here that it's like, oh, you're rushing there. But just be like, I'm feeling myself, okay? So try to have the fingers open, try to relax your hands. You don't want them stiff, just be like, slide it down, okay? Also, whenever possible, instead of picking your hand up and moving it, slide it, okay? Of course, that's gonna vary with the music. If there's something with the music where you want it to be very staccato, definitely go in time with that. But generally speaking, whenever you can, it'll make things smoother if you slide versus move, okay? So from here, this hand is going to come down my leg. I'm gonna lean back, basically do a crunch here, bringing my knees up to my chest. Now from here, you can leave your legs bent or depending on how comfortable you are with this position and flexibility wise, you can use this hand to start to straighten this leg out and kind of observe your legs for a moment here. Just gaze admirably at them for a moment. Then from here, I'm using my arm that's on the back of the chair and I'm going to continue to pull myself around. So my arm in the back of the chair just went whoop like this and pulled my butt to the chair. Also this leg on the chair. So now from here, I'm gonna bend both my legs boop, over the back of the chair. So they're helping me. The more I bend my legs into the chair, it brings my butt deeper into the chair, so I'm less likely to fall off this way, okay? So really focus on like as if you're trying to pull your heels to your butt, and that will bring your butt even closer. My hands are gonna slide down the chair to the floor. There's definitely an abdominal crunch going on here. And see my, my heels pulling to the chair pulls my butt deeper into the chair, okay? From here, I'm going to diamond, just like we did before, toes are together, knees are open, open wherever your open is. If it's here, if it's here, whatever it is, do you, okay? So legs are gonna open, then I'm going to bring them to bed together, glue my knees together, one leg stays straight, one is gonna make a little circle, okay? So if you watch when I do this circle, it's not just my legs circling, my hips are turning, circle, hips turn circle, hips turn, okay? So when I'm going through that motion, boop, 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 can't do it so much this way, my hips are doing this. I'm sliding my booty on the chair, which is once again, where it's nice to have leggings because you get a little extra slide there, okay? So there's a little bit of a tilt your hips as the leg moves, okay? So 
we're back here. Tilt, little circle, and up, and cross the ankles. Legs are gonna come back to the chair, bend them at the same time, my left hand is gonna reach up and grab the chair to the outside. As much on the top and as close to your leg as possible, but don't grab the side, try to grab the top. And if you try to come straight up, you might have a hard time grabbing, turn already to your right side and it'll make it easier to grab. Then I'm going to think of pulling my knees to my chest, sliding on my butt so my legs can go to the ground, slide my hand along the chair, slide my legs, remember, take your time, okay? So this is the part where, like I said, that little transition right there, it might look simple, but it can be a sticky transition. If you rush it, there's gonna be like a funky moment where it's like, ooh, did you mean to do that? Just think slow. You might get stuck a little bit on the chair, especially if you're not wearing leggings. Go slow with it, okay? So we're right here. Lean to your right, like transfer that weight to the right shoulder. Left hand grabs the chair. Slowly slide your legs off the side of the chair keeping your knees together, sit up, one leg leads, the other leg follows. Now, once I get over to here, my hand on the back of the chair is gonna go to here, and I'm just cupping it, okay? And in doing that, I'm going to keep tension and think of trying to slide my butt to this side, because we're gonna go back into the split. If my butt is here, I'm not following my head. So I want my butt to be as far to that side of the chair as possible without it falling off that side of the chair, okay? So I'm kind of pulling the chair into my armpit here. Okay, so we came around here, whoop, whoop. I'm gonna push with this foot on the ground as I bring this knee to my chest. Remember, depending on your flexibility, if this is a struggle, use your hand. Nobody's gonna know that your hand was helping. They'll just be like, oh, she is feeling this, okay? So take your time with that. Hand goes down the leg, pull this knee to your chest as you slide down, down, down to the chair, okay? So my back and my butt are on the chair. Now, depending on flexibility, maybe this leg just goes here, maybe this leg goes here. Here's something on this. You do not have to have a vertical split for this. My leg is not coming straight to my face. It's out this way, okay? My leg is literally an arm's length from my face, but it's a faux split, okay? So you can, from here, open the hips towards your audience, or like I said, you can take it to a bent, have a nice double leg shape here, and kind of pause and admire your lovely legs for a moment. Okay, or take it to a full split. Oh, it's a faux split, not kidding anyone here. Okay, whatever you wanna do. Now, when you're ready to come out of this, you're going to switch your legs. The leg that is closest to the back of the chair is gonna come towards your face. They can be bent when you switch them, they can be straight, however you wanna stylize this, if you wanna make it a dramatic drop, if you wanna make it a slow and sensual drop, whichever. But the leg closest to the back of the chair is gonna come forward, you're gonna look over your left shoulder, drop your left hand to the floor, roll and drop, okay? And once again, it's a faux split, okay? So I'm not in a split at all. I'm dropping to my forearms, then the legs slide together, head goes down, butt goes up, push back, 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 try to keep your head down as long as you can until you get back into this child's pose, and then roll through your spine one vertebra at a time, head flip, at the top, hands are gonna go to your chair, one foot comes up, rest your butt down on that heel. Other foot comes up, from here, you can turn to your left or to your right, it doesn't matter. So as you turn, think of trying to bring your knees to touch, as soon as your knees touch, continue to pivot on the balls of your feet so you have this illusion of looking ladylike, okay? And that brings you back to your chair, which from here, either A, this concludes your chair piece, or you continue on your merry way, adding some more choreo. Okay, tidbits with this. A, play around with all the pieces, work out the kinks. Ideally, like I said, I would recommend pants initially. Not baggy pants, they tend to get stuck in stuff. Leggings would work better. I've done it in baggy pants. It works, but they do get stuck sometimes. Then once you sort it out, you can wear whatever you want, okay? Um, take your time. So initially, if you want this, to go to fast music, I would work through all the pieces slow first, and then as it feels comfortable, then you can put it to fast music. But definitely like work out all the kinks first before you try to like really fast into it, okay? Play around with your camera angles, okay? Everybody is different. Your angle, if maybe it looks better here, 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 figure out where you want your audience to see, okay? I've got the chair basically facing my audience, but maybe like depending on you know, which leg is your more flexy leg, that kind of thing, you might be like, well, I think this looks better, okay? So adjust accordingly. Find some music that you like, find some music that makes you feel sexy, makes you wanna dance, whatever that is. Put this to some music, 
play around with it and have some fun.